Hey Alexa, do you love me? Connect sync link all the pieces of your life I. Get it done at the speed of Wi-Fi. I'm the player, the coach, the arena, and the game. If you want something done, you just gotta say my name. Holy sh- Hey, what's up guys? This is Techimal. Now I'm sure you've heard of Alexa. Alexa is basically a virtual assistant that helps you get stuff done, feeds you information and manages all your devices. It's the same as Siri on an iPhone, Google Now on Android and Cortana on Nowhere. But unlike Siri which is only available on your iOS devices like your iPhone or your iPad and now for some dumb reason your Mac, the Alexa service is only right now available on their own devices which are called the Echo devices. So you've got the biggest one which is the Echo and followed by the Echo Tap and this tiny little bugger called the Look at our sweeties, look at our sweeties. The Echo Dot. The only difference between the Echo and the Echo Dot is that the Echo Dot doesn't have a very good speaker in it. But in terms of what it can do, it's exactly the same as the Echo. Think of the larger Echo as this plus this. Now to what it can do. It's completely voice activated so it can do a whole bunch of things like I can play music, answer questions, get the news and weather, create to-do lists and much more. See? So you can ask it questions like, hey Alexa, what's the distance between Bangalore and New Delhi? 1740 kilometers from New Delhi as the crow flies. It can also do calculations for you. So if, like me, you guys are all terrible at maths, then you can ask it, Hey Alexa, what's the square root of 99,372? The square root of 99,372 is 315.23. Nice, no? I mean, I don't know why you would need that because that makes no sense. But if you're like tallying numbers, doing your calculations for some bills or something like that, it's really useful. It can also read out the news for you. So you can stay up to date on all the wonderful 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 news that's taking over the world here's your flash briefing live from npr news at washington i'm giles snyder the british flag flying at half staff what is what you saying right hey alexa who's donald trump person of subnormal intelligence correct correct seems to be working fine in terms of media it can play your music from your library and it can also read a book to you so if you have a kindle book you read on a Kindle, you have a Kindle book, it can actually read that out to you. Hey Alexa, read me my book. He imagined stabbing her and pretending like it was a robbery. Or perhaps, he thought, he'd take her hiking, push her off a cliff and say it was an accident. So the point is you can do hundreds of different things, like taking notes, reading email, playing music, reading a book to you, making a to-do list, making a reminder, setting alarms, controlling the lights in your house, controlling the appliances in your house, if you have smart appliances in your house, but what sets it apart, I think, is the speech recognition software. Because with most of these assistants, the problem is that they can't really understand what you're saying all the time. But Alexa's AI is so good that you can actually ask it a question and then ask a follow-up question on top of that question. So for example, Hey Alexa, Wikipedia Elon Musk. Elon Reed Musk is a South African-born Canadian-American business magnate. Read more. Okay. He is the founder, CEO, and CTO of SpaceX. Co-founder. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah, I can't hear you. But it's a really impressive product, I'm sure you guys agree. But it does have a couple of problems. It doesn't always hear you. So if you placed it in a certain place that's a little far away from you or you don't speak loud enough, it sometimes doesn't pick up what you're trying to say. Number two is that it doesn't always have results for your questions. So you could ask it a question and it'll say, Sorry, I don't know what that is. The biggest so, problem, however, especially in India is... Well, India. So since the Echo devices and Alexa are not officially supported here, we don't have access to services like Spotify, Pandora and things like that. So you can't actually stream music by telling your Echo Echo Dot to, well, play music. So that's a problem and you don't have localized content. So whether it's the weather information, traffic information or even the news, it's not anything local. Oh my God, can you imagine Indian news like that? Oh, they, oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, biggest yeah, problem yeah. with us. Sir. Please, please stop. I can't handle that. No. The question is, do you need Alexa in your life? Do you need a sexy woman in your life to tell you random things at random times of the day? Where are the people in the city? Yeah. Mm. Of course you don't need it, but you will. Not today, not tomorrow, not even in the next year, but you will need it. Voice activated technology in my mind is the future, so you might not need it now, but imagine a state when your phone, your home, your work, your laptop, your computer, everything is on the same system and it's all voice activated. There's no coming back from that. 
So just for the heck of it, let's look at pricing. Pricing for the devices starts at $180 for the Echo, followed by $130 for the Echo Tap, which is a wireless version of the same thing. And this sweet boy right here, just $50. That's like 3,200 3, rupees. Look at him, too sweet. Say bye. Here's a sample of Bye 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 by InSync.